we live in the, in the time of circularity. We know that we are extracting uh, more resources than is sustainable from the Earth. In, in, in fact, it's calculated that uh, we already extract uh, the equivalent of 1.7 Earths every year. And of course, this is a dead end. We need to change that model. And circularity is basically the idea of uh, extracting the maximum value out of resources with repeated life cycles. So we need to collect resources back and treat them again in the economy so that we can extract maximum value of the resources and stop extracting virgin resources from the, uh, from the planet. Now, in this era of circularity uh, and uh, shift between waste management to resource management, scale is of essence. And, and we need uh, scale, we need uh, material so that we make uh, treatment of material feasible. And of course, Cyprus is small by nature. Now imagine when we break it down into two pieces, the scale becomes, and the, in the, in the, in the diseconomies of scale, become a barrier to many types of treatment of resources. Or if it's not a barrier, it makes the treatment of resources very inefficient because of the small scale. I, I usually say that we cannot have circularity in semicircles. And of course, we will not have circularity in semicircles. But as, as, uh, as long as we are obliged to work in the fragmented uh, between the two communities, it means that we're, we are working in smaller circles. And that, as I said, creates a lot of inefficiencies or even makes um, uh, things non feasible because of the, of the small scale. Now, one of the differences between the Turkish Cypriot community and the Greek Cypriot community is that we have different legislation. We have the Aki Communitaire in the Greek Cypriot community back from 2004. That means that for specific waste streams, we have the extended producer responsibility, which means that the organizations, the companies selling their equipment or, the, or their packages or their uh, batteries in the market, they have to pay for the collection and treatment of the, of the material. And of course, that makes what was not feasible before, makes it feasible because there is this fund. And since we're talking about electrical and electronic waste, there is the system, the, the EPR system in the Greek Cypriot community is collecting around 2 million euros from 400 companies every year. And that's the money going into the collection, the transportation, and the treatment of material. Because of this, uh, producer responsibility implementation. In the last 15 or so years, there have been infrastructure created for the collection of material. There have been also investments in treatment facilities, different treatment facilities. We are to a point today that we can say that for most of the types of electrical and electronic equipment, we can at least, at least dismantle the equipment and export the, the components and not the whole, the whole equipment. So there is some infrastructure. Of course, that infrastructure suffers from the small scale because you need certain investment to do a certain job. So if you have more quantities, you can better spread the, the, the uh, fixed costs. And of course, we, we do not have the same um, legislation in the Turkey Cypriot community. There is legislation for producer responsibility for packaging already. It's not implemented, but there is legislation. And of course, this project is also aiming to help things move towards regulation for producer responsibility in the Turkey Cypriot community, so that eventually there will be money collected from the producers in the Turkey Cypriot community to treat the equipment or to facilitate the transport of, of, of equipment. Now, we are discussing the trade through the green line, and what we should say already is that there is waste crossing the line already for, ma for materials that it makes sense financially, like commercial industrial packaging, like car batteries. There is already waste moving between the two sides from the green line treated on either side of the, of the island. Now, for the specific uh, project, um, uh, in, in the, let's say, in the uh, shade of this absence of regulation, we have been looking through this initiative uh, of ways to look at the market and see whether there is financial, uh, it makes sense financially 
to collect some types of electrical and electronic equipment in the Turkish Cypriot community and bring them to the Republic of Cyprus for treatment in the facilities that we have already uh, here. Um, so basically we focused on types of equipment that, had a, that have a positive value. So even when you take them for proper treatment, there is positive value in the equipment because of the value of the components or the, or the metals and so on. So we're looking whether, we, we have been looking whether this value, this positive value, has been enough to cover the cost of collection uh, and transportation of the equipment to the facilities in the Republic of Cyprus. Now, I will not get into the details of the project. Vishdan will uh, present the project uh, from our side. But um, what I would like to concentrate that, uh, at the end uh, is uh, the benefits we see out of this kind of initiatives. And of course, starting from the very uh, cooperation between the two communities, which is a very positive thing. But of course, we are talking about financial uh, benefits. We are talking about the waste stream, electrical and electronic waste, which is quite, quite hazardous for the, for the health uh, with neurotoxic materials if they spread in, uh, in the environment. And of course, treating the, the equipment properly is, is of essence for the environment. We heard already it's one environment for all of us between the countries, let alone in the same country and in a small country living side by side. There is the awareness that will be eventually built if this initiative takes over for people to learn to sort their waste and take them to a specific depot for the collection. There will be experiences from the waste producers in the Turkey Cypriot community that, that will host the depots for, for the management of these kind of facilities, which of course can expand and collect many, many different types of uh, waste in the future. There is efficiency in the, in the whole thing because whatever equipment is collected will be treated in existing facilities where the fixed cost is already paid. So there is the efficiencies. And of course, it opens up um, uh, op opportunities and uh, let's say growth of ideas for further cooperation and further initiatives for the treatment of different types of resources. And of course, to the extent that a small scale project can contribute, it creates green jobs because we, when we manage waste properly, we need much more labor. It's much more labor intensive versus either dumping the waste or uh, using scrapyards to, to, to manage uh, the, the metals in the electrical and electronic waste. So uh, there are different benefits and we hope that this will, can take over. It seems that business-wise it will work and Vishtan will say more about that. So uh, we look forward to that becoming a reality on the ground. Okay, thank you.